U.S. will fire missile sinking warships in Pacific. The United States Marine Corps will fire the Naval Strike Missile or NSM, an anti-ship missile, on Sunday as a demonstration of strength. This warship sinking missile is planned to be a weapon for the Marine Corps artillery unit in the future for war. NSM's planned fire in the Pacific is part of the large-scale exercise 2021 war games. The deputy commander of the Joint Forces Maritime Component, Brigadier General John F. Kelleher, told the Marine Corps Times in a telephone interview Friday. It will be a demonstration of strength and kinetic, from multiple platforms, said Kelleher. The Marine Corps will fire one of these naval strike missiles in the Pacific. There will be a casualty hull out there, something the Navy has raised, he said. This large-scale U.S. war game aims to demonstrate the Navy's ability to use precise, lethal, and extraordinary force across 17 different time zones, and involves more than 25,000 personnel, all three Marine Expeditionary Forces, and five fleets. This is one of the largest exercises of this scale by the United States since before World War II, said Major Jim Stenger, a Marine Corps spokesman. On Sunday, Kelleher said, Missile fire by Marine Corps forces will be launched from the ground in coordination with the Navy and Air Force, testing the ability of the three services to work together. The Marine Corps plans for a future in which small units equipped with missiles capable of sinking ships are scattered across the battlefield, opening up sea lanes for the U.S. Navy and ideally keeping enemy ships pinned in their home ports. Whether it's in the Atlantic or the Pacific, it's all about the Marine Corps being able to provide that anti-area denial sea control, Kelleher said. To Lieutenant General Eric Smith, current commander of the Marine Corps Combat Development Command and Deputy Commander for Combat Development and Integration, this is a simple mathematical equation. Enemy peers must respect the 1.7 million U.S. dollars naval strike missile that can damage nearly 2 billion U.S. dollars worth of warships, and you can't find it. Smith said at the Sea Air Space Conference. Smith said the Marine Corps had fired Raytheon's naval strike missile more than 100 miles. According to Raytheon, the missile carries a 500-pound warhead, programmable fuse, and evades missile defense systems by performing evasive maneuvers and flying at sea-skimming altitude.